you feeling about all this? Your people look like they're barely holding it together. What, you mean these nerd farmers aren't ready for Brute Squad boot camp? It was hard enough turning these pocket-protecting 4 hers onto vandalism, but infiltration and sabotage? It's a goddamn miracle that we've survived this long. But we're not fooling ourselves. We know at the end of the day, we're just standing with our fingers in a dike. Yeah, well, the tide's coming in. Surviving off the grid is one thing, but if you don't start punching above your weight, you're gonna get slaughtered. If you don't think your lot suffer that, Best thing would be to scatter to the wind. If not us, then who? Let me ask you something. Why South Cape Station? Liberty's right next door, and it wouldn't take much for Sentinels to surround you and cut you off from everything. It's rare that outcast cells stay put more than a few days. Nature of the beast, I guess. With this place, we were just looking for something more permanent, where we could stockpile supplies and safeguard assets. The landfill keeps away Sentinel and Skeller tourists from the capital, we're right near to our fields of operation and close enough to Sentinel that we won't show up on radar. As far as security is concerned, the creek does a decent job of keeping us hidden, and looking out at the cabins is a bonus. How does Sentinel Corp take control of Varroa? Skell hired them to deal with us initially once he realized that he had some resistance against transhumanism, his own private militia. They started making arrests. So a few of us went to ground, and our sympathizers followed, thinking they'd leave us alone once we were outside of the cities. But they didn't. Stone got permission to operate outside Liberty and Infinity, and Skell let him set up shop in the Cold War installations to patrol the wild. Once they got there, they did just enough to keep us at bay, while using us as cover to bring in men and vehicles, which he hid from Skell in some underground bunkers, which of course are now called Camp Ferret and Camp Weasel. Son of a bitch has a sense of humor. We were watching the whole thing happen. And when they grew strong enough, they took over. They literally came up out of the ground. Skell had no idea what hit him. Came across some soldiers in masks. Know anything about them? Wolves. They're elite, and they answer directly to Walker. We noticed them around after Sentinel Corp took over. My guess is they were hidden in one of the underground bases before then. They're bad news from what I can tell. But they mostly just run drills and ignore us altogether, so we do the same. Where can I find them, if I were inclined? Don't know why you would be, but they've got a few little fortresses around. Biggest one is Shark Base, an old U.S. sub-base dug into a cliff on the south coast. Wolves keep a close eye on it, so nobody knows what's in there. If I was looking for a fight, where should I go? With Sentinel Corp? You that hard up? Trigger Finger needs its exercise. Well, Sentinel patrols the city centers and industrial complexes pretty heavily, though there's always civilians around, so I'd keep away from those if you can help it. Then there's the settlements they built when they first got here, in the southwest and northeast, where they keep their reserve garrison and store resources. That sounds like more fun than anybody should be allowed to have. If you're looking for a more of a skirmish, you could check out one of Oroa's many Cold War-era bunkers left courtesy of Uncle Sam. They also set up some transportable structures and took over some scale architecture. Basically, if you see a green storage container looking thing, Sentinel's probably nearby. Of course, if you don't feel like looking that hard, they patrol most of the island 24-7, so you could just pick a spot and wait. I want to know about the bombing. It was a mistake. There was nothing strategic about the scale foundation. It was an office building. You weren't even at war yet, so why do it at all? Attention? Skeltech completely ignored us when we tried to meet with them about transhumanism. We've been getting the runaround in Aurora's parliament, who were a bunch of Skeltech groupies anyway. There was no other way to get people to wake up about what was really happening. Yeah, well, you're the reason Skel brought Sentinel Corp to Aurora. So is he awake enough for you? Skell deserves what he's getting. At least there's justice in that. But no. 
I didn't want this. Is it over? Or do you plan on playing terrorists some more? We aren't terrorists. We were activists who went too far. Now I'm... I'm not sure what we are. But causing civilian casualties again would destroy whatever ethical glue is still holding us together. How do the outcasts manage to sustain themselves out here? Barely. None of us have the skills or equipment to farm or fish. Even if we did, it'd bring us a boatload of attention that we couldn't afford. Once in a while, a civilian will leave some food at a dead drop, but it's risky and never much. Best bet's always to steal from farms and raid sentinel supplies, but of course they are protected. Then there's still the matter of getting the supplies out to as many cells as possible while avoiding detection. Nobody thinks about food at first. That's why so many groups who call themselves revolutionaries end up as bandits. Even if you don't think it's possible now, you'll want to be careful you don't drift that way. Are you at all worried about the increased traffic around the industrial facility near here? Being that your HQ is so close, I mean. The only human within miles is a skeleton crew of Sentinel rejects who probably got transferred there as a punishment and bitch all day about finding a detail with more action. Not the sharpest bunch. And just like everybody else, they're convinced there's nothing interesting on Windy Islands. So we let them believe that. We can travel back and forth on those barges day in and day out, and the only thing that follows us is a stink. Did you know anything about Madeira's husband being kept in the cryo chambers in eternity? I knew he had ALS, of course, and how difficult it was for Paula when he went into a coma five years back. Hate to say it like this, but it seemed to me that Paula had moved on. I was surprised as shit when I heard he was still alive. Even Scales got his good points. Hitler liked art. Really? Hitler. Skell was playing God. Just because he helped out a friend one time doesn't make him any less dangerous. Almost glad he never found a cure. He'd have had Madeira forever, not to mention something to sell for a fortune. You want to work with Skell? I can't stop you. But you'd better make sure you're using him and not the other way around. I've dealt with a few snakes in my time. Skell's nothing special. Whatever. You're gonna do what you want to do, so he's your problem. But don't let him become mine. If he ever compromises the outcasts, even you won't be able to protect him from me. Any advice for fighting in World 2.0? The name of the game is take out their drones faster than they can launch them. It's a bitch, but that's why we always carry jammers that'll shut off any live drone or vehicle happening by. At least for a while. Another option would be to make your peace with the devil and use sync shot drones to take out specific targets. Sync shot drones? They only target humans, though. They can't target drones. There's also a variation on the Legion drone, the ones in the drone swarm. They're like little flying guns that basically take aim in any direction and wait for a signal to execute their target. Got any lying around? No can do. We mostly leave those things alone. Kind of goes against what we're trying to be. Sounds like just another weapon to me. If you're inclined, you can get them hot out of the oven from Skeltech Labs or assembly lines. Hell, even some startups might have them. And come to think of it, the Omega Center ought to have plenty. See you later, Haruhi. Not if I see you first, Brute Squad. Ready for this fight?
forward, but I don't want shit to do with those problems. Really?
so grateful, really. Ugh. <sighs> 